Hi, this is Steve Thomas. Welcome to Backlash, where I take you for a little ride behind the scenes of some of the images that I've posted on Instagram recently. Um, this series of images are from the Biking Man Lao Endurance Bike Race, which was this time last year, May last year. Um, 800 kilometers through northern Lao, where riders are ride either solo or as two man teams, as near to non stop as they possibly can. <clears throat> There are very few rules. Uh, they have to be self-sufficient. Uh, they can stop off as often as they like, as long as they make the time cut, which is, uh, I think, five days, four or five days, depending on the, the event. Um, in this case, that, that's usually a generous uh, time cut, which opens things up to um, pretty fit average riders. Um, but in this case, uh, it was going to prove to be an awful lot tougher than riders expected. Uh, Northern Lao is a pretty harsh, harsh uh, landscape, harsh environment, uh, an area that I spend a lot, a lot of time in. Um, <clears throat> the roads are very rough. Uh, this particular route uh, took in an awful lot of uh, dirt roads, which aren't normally dirt roads. They're dug up through construction of the Chinese road project. Um, there are an awful lot of potholes. It's there's not a lot of flat in northern Laos, um, and the climbs are exceptionally steep. Uh, and with the road surface combined with the forty odd degrees temperature, make for pretty hard going. Um, there's also not a lot in the way of facilities. So if you run out of water, run out of food, uh, you've got to go a long way, and then make do with whatever you can find, which doesn't tend to be a lot. Um, <clears throat> this particular shot was was captured very early on, just after, just well, just right at sunrise. You can see the com the, the sun coming up over the uh, the back of the limestone cusps. Um, this is just north of Luang Prabang, which is the ancient city, uh, ancient capital, uh, one of the most amazing places in in the whole of whole of Asia. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a duo from London, a couple of guys, really nice guys, uh, one of them on his, his first ever endurance race and they were on the way to Pak Beng uh, which took in a couple of mountain passes and which was the first checkpoint. Moving on, same road, same riders actually and uh, I passed through a very small village where they were preparing for, uh, for some kind of festival. I skinning animals um yeah slaughtering chickens sorry for the uh the faint-hearted out there but um it, it's commonplace here uh, or, or other it's actually it is for ceremonial reasons otherwise it's a luxury um they, they were they were plucking chickens and preparing everything behind the whole village and uh yeah the the party had started early and they were pretty amused as to what I was doing. Lucky I can speak some some Lao so I can I can get by and keep them amused and occupied um, uh, so that they don't play to the camera uh, which is not what you want when you're trying to get this kind of a shot. Um, this this particular image was uh, a, a lot further on on the second day towards the end of the second day in Saiburi province which is an area known for for its elephants uh, wild elephants although you, you're highly unlikely to see them because uh, they, they they stay pretty well out of the way in jungles for obvious reasons uh, although there are an awful lot of ele elephant sanctuaries here um, <clears throat> the rider is, is uh, a Lao guy, a Deng national team rider, riding his first biking man, first ever bike packing race. Bike packing means that they, they, they carry their, their essentials, what they need to get through, and a minimum kit list. Um, so they're self sufficient. They have to be self sufficient in these races. They're, they can stop wherever they want, they can stay in hotels, uh, but, but you know, the, the serious riders tend to sleep in shacks under hedges or not sleep at all. Uh, I don't think there wasn't a, anybody that didn't sleep in this race. It turned out to be so tough. Um, kids, as you can see, uh, village kids, no shoes. There's no iPhones, nothing, nothing like that. Um, and wearing superhero capes. Probably never seen anything quite like it. Totally bemused, which is is pretty special to to me. Um, and it's also very sad to think that they will never have the opportunity to do uh, to do anything like this or is highly unlikely to at least um, 
poverty and the the system is is yeah puts an end to that uh, this shot was towards Pakbeng, uh, which is the first checkpoint about 350 kilometers into the race on day one um, uh, I, I'm not sure it was a kid or a student teacher on his way home from school in a village and um, Jonas Deichmann <clears throat> the German um, adventurer ultra cyclist and record breaker in the background uh, just starting to really suffer having taken the lead and uh, having a bit of a duel with Rodney Sonko the Peruvian uh, Peruvian rider who's run most of the biking man races uh, both of them suffered from the heat uh, an awful loss Rodney got very sick uh, eventually continued to uh, and went on to finish fourth uh, Jonas his bottom bracket fell out um, couldn't do anything with it couldn't fix it and ended up walking for for 200 odd kilometers uh, in road cycling shoes which is virtually impossible so he ended up in barefoot and given the temperatures and the road surfaces you can imagine the state his feet were in uh, he'd rolled down the hills uh, but he couldn't ride couldn't ride the bike because he couldn't pedal the drivetrain was was totally totally gone and um, this shot is uh, a young girl in a village which is commonplace in northern Lao that the village won't have electric or mains water uh, and in the evening you you will see there's no lighting street lighting so you have to be very careful uh, because anything can can jump out in front of you from buffalo to an elephant to to a, a family and there will be no lights uh, she's just carrying two pails of water from the standpipe back to the house probably for cooking and washing so that brings me to the end of this particular um, series of images. Hope you enjoyed the pictures and if ever you get a chance to visit Northern Lao, be sure to do so. It's an absolutely amazing place that will have an impact on you or should have an impact on you. And please stay tuned for the next episode.